This is our neighborhood, the Milky Way Galaxy. Our star, the Sun, is located about halfway up through this spiral. Our entire solar system, with Earth, Jupiter, and Pluto all included, all reside in this bright dot below Polaris. Inside this yellow circle is everything we can see in the night sky with our naked eye. With the birth of telescopes, we saw beyond. And in the 1990s, we put the greatest telescope ever built, the Hubble telescope, into space. Free to view the universe without having to shoot through Earth's atmosphere, Hubble continues to capture the best images we've ever seen of space, near and far. Relatively close to home, right above Orion's belt in the night sky, sits the iconic Horsehead Nebula. Lafayette Planetarium curator Dave Hostetter says astronomers have photographed the Horsehead Nebula for decades, but they've never seen it quite like this. Well, we call it the Horsehead Nebula because it looks a little bit like a horsehead. And what we're seeing is gas and dust where stars are actually forming. Sometimes we refer to these as stellar nurseries. Some of the stars that you see in the Horsehead are relatively young stars that have just finished the process of forming and are starting to unmask and become visible to us. Looking much farther out, 100 million light years away from our Milky Way galaxy, Hubble captures another one, the Sombrero Galaxy. The dark lane that you see along the edge of the galaxy, that is gas and dust where stars are forming. The bright thing near the middle of the galaxy, that is not a thing, that's a whole bunch of stars. That's so many stars that their images are overlapping and making it appear like it's a big bright thing. But that's huge numbers of stars going around the center of the galaxy. Whether there are planets there or not is an open question, but there's no reason to suspect that there would not be. Uh, whether there's life out there or not, you know, it's a big universe. And we're discovering it's even bigger than we had imagined. This is the deepest visible light image of space anyone's ever seen. It's called Hubble Ultra Deep Field. The idea was to point the telescope at some place in the sky that was not very interesting just to see what was there. Tiny, tiny part of the sky. It took 11 days of light gathering, but this is what we got. And it's just littered with galaxies. Even between the little tiny galaxies that you see in this picture, there are other little tiny galaxies. Hubble's only been at this for less than three decades. What's coming next? For your weekly dose of woe, I'm Jordan Sandler.